Jill? Yeah, Mike Rossi told me. I'm not gonna see Jill again. Well, that's a step in the right direction. You must have known it couldn't go anywhere. I suppose so. What now? I've left the ministry. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that. Don't be. Well, you still have Susan? That's, uh, that's why I'm here. Tom, she's, she's in bad shape. Not only physically. Counted on you. He was sure you'd come to her. Go to her. Now. I want you to do that. Oh, you don't need me to run interference. Look, you both have a lot of understanding to do. It'll only take twice as long with someone in the middle. That's the only way I can manage her right now. No matter how much harm she's done, she loves you, Tom. But I don't love her. I'm not going back to her. You're leaving her? For good? I want you to ask her to file for divorce. Look, Tom, that's, that's no solution. It's the only one there is for the both of us. She needs you. She needs what I was. And I'm not that man anymore. She's seen to that. So you're going to make her pay for exposing the crack in your halo, right? If I really want to do that. I would go back. I'd see to it that every day we had together was more empty, more painful than the last. This time I'd be the dutiful, adoring mate. I'd make a mockery of our lives, our marriage. I'd be the perfect lovebird until they put the cover over our cage. Then I'd tear her apart. I have fallen from grace, haven't I? That's the way it was, Stephen. And that's the only way it could be. And that would be much worse than what I'm asking you to do. I don't love Susan anymore, but I don't want to hurt her. Explain that to me. Where are you going? Oh, no, don't, uh, don't worry. He'll be able to serve you the divorce papers. I'll be around for that. Handle in the window for you. Oh, very funny. Now, why don't you light it up again so I can see what I'm eating? If there's anything left. How was it fried? Where's the baby? I fed her and she fell asleep in her applesauce. Oh. <laughs> what a mess. She didn't even wake up when I changed her. Then there's just the two of us, huh? Yeah, that's all I counted on. Why? Oh, I just thought maybe we should, uh, Invite Betty over. You're acting kind of funny. Funny ha-ha or funny strange? Funny strange. I'm done with Rod, that's all. What is it? He wants the doubts removed from his mind. What doubts? Doubts about Betty and about Stephen. What are you talking about? I'm talking about he's building something up in his mind. About Betty? Yep. Yeah. Because that's all he has to think about. And because he figures he's washed up as a man. Let me ask you a question. What do you think of Betty? You know I like her. More now than ever before. Look, Norm. Why don't you just ask me the big question? All right, I'll ask you the big question. Do you think Betty and Stephen can ever get involved again? She just got out of a mess with him and divorced him. Why would she want to get involved again? Because people do some strange things sometimes. And maybe she feels that she hasn't got anybody else to turn to. 
I mean, she liked him enough to marry him the first time, didn't she? Betty loves Rod. I know that. Yeah. But what? She's been around. Maybe Rod wasn't the first guy to her. You weren't the first guy in my life, either. In a lot of ways, I was a lot worse. Worse than most women, I guess. No, Rita. Yes, I know what I did. Would you stop it? I'm just saying this because I know myself. I know that I love you. I could never look at another man. What happened to me just made me stronger. It's not hard to be faithful. But I know you, and I believe in you. I just wish I could send Stephen to bed. You can't. Get rid of those seeds of doubt that Stephen planted. Betty's honest and good. Like you. Yeah. Rita, there's nobody like you. Betty is not going to look at Stephen or anyone else. Okay? Okay. <laughs> Why don't you sit in the middle, Dr. Ross? I'm sorry. Yeah, sure, good. Counsel's over here. This will be perfect. Thank you. Oh, isn't this nice? A weed between two roses. Enjoy your dinner. Thank you. It's thorn, huh? It's a thorn between two roses. A thorn between two roses? Well, maybe I'm not sharp enough to be a thorn tonight. <laughs> I'll tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to raise a white flag of truce. I accept that. Daddy! I thought that you were supposed to be in Boston. Yeah, honey. <laughs> I was just on my way back. Well, what are you doing here? Well, I had some business in White River. Marcia? Yeah. Doctor? Yeah. Why didn't you call? Well, it was getting very late, and I was quite hungry, and... This is the best place to eat on the highway, so I decided to stop here and have some dinner on the way home. Well, I have been known to have dinner every so often. Well, Carolyn, don't you remember? You're going to see your father on Sunday. That's right, darling. And we'll make a great day of it. Can't you even stay for coffee? Well, it's getting quite late, and it's a long drive. Oh, there you are. People were beginning to mistake me for the coat rack. <laughs> it's just on my way out. Aren't you going to introduce us, Daddy? Oh, you're Carolyn. Yes, that's right. Oh, Freddie, she's not a little girl anymore. The way your father talks, I half expected you'd still be wearing braces and pigtails. Uh, Donna Franklin, this is Carolyn's mother, Marcia. Miss Franklin. And Dr. Michael Rossi. Hello. And it's getting quite late, and I still have to get Miss Franklin home. Where do you live? Just this side of Peyton Place. Do you work for my father? We're just friends. How long have you known him? For a while. Nice meeting you, Mrs. Russell, Dr. Rossi. I really must try and convince your father that you're a young woman, a very charming young woman. Sunday, bright and early. Good night. Good night. Good night. Well, Carolyn, um, come on back and sit down. Here we go. They make the most wonderful cannelloni in the world, right here. Did you know about her? You didn't look surprised when she showed up. Oh, Carolyn, your father and I are divorced. He has as much right to see other people as I have. She's an awful lot younger than he is. Oh, what am I going to have? How old do you think she is? I don't know. I couldn't say. Could you say, Dr. Rossi? Is it important? I guess it's only important to my father. <laughs> 